welcome and welcome to the present how we're doing this beautiful saturday evening before we proceed into the party conversation guys like the video subscribe if you're new here and make sure you turn on your notification bell. one more time for those that have been here the first time please like the video subscribe if you're new here and make sure you turn on your notification bell the party agenda is stinking is disgusting and it's pathetic so put it lightly we won against wolves and yet people are on x and all kind of platform oh we need to replace party is getting on in age we need to bring in moreno as quick as possible i'm not against bringing in moreno as quick as possible but if you if you're a football lover you're a sensible and rational fan there's a chance, there's a possibility, no matter how slim it is, that Moreno can come. And it will take me a bit of time to adapt and adjust and acclimatize to the English league. Even though he has played in England before, it's a, it's a possibility. Now, that's on one side. How was Pate the worst player on the pitch today? Now, there is this trend that was actually, in my personal opinion, which is some of my debate, started by AFTV, that there must be a scapegoat in every match, whether we win or lose, Arsenal fans, the modern Arsenal fans, always look for a scapegoat. Regardless of the result, we won today 2 0. You did not concede. The greatest result we can get today was to win, and we did that. And yet, people are, oh, look at Pate. He was clumsy here. He was this year. No, 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 no. See, I am tired of this agenda against certain players. I am not against planning ahead. To replace party is getting on the age, and I agree that's objectively true. But party was not the worst player today. Now, did he have bits of iffy moment just like any other player in, in, on the pitch today? Now, people are shouting about oh, party was a bit clumsy here and there. What about Saliba? Saliba almost cost us a goal, but everybody is keeping quiet because Saliba is the favorite player, right? No, not about Saliba because he's the favorite player, but let, let, let's pile on. On party, at least Soliba had known. Even though Soliba made a glaring error, but only Soliba had known because he's a fair player for the moment. Let's smile on party. How does that make sense? What did Rice do today? It was passive, it was pedestrian, it was a passenger today. No, 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 no. We're going to leave Rice alone and pile on Thomas Party. This is crazy. Some of you are mad. The modern fan is insane. They will do anything for engagement. Because these days, engagement and likes and views pays. So we've gone bonkers. The, the asylum has been left open for idiots. Everybody, every time they can come on the internet and say all kinds of nonsense. Party was not a problem. Like, I admit, he had, just like every other player on the pitch today, he had, he had misjudgment and, and if he moment here and there, but party was solid. I'm not against planning for Pate to be replaced, but he has a part to play in our squad, in our starting level. At this moment, he's still a good player. I'm not saying Moreno cannot my challenge him. But to, to overly embellish and say Pate is getting on, he, he, was, he was horrible today, and even though, objectively speaking, he was not the one that was making those errors on the pitch, we are going to find a way to dump in Pate. We saw the Clarice cramping over the place. Party was cramping. We just we saw the Clarice extremely passive. Oh, oh, like I'm still asking, what did the Clarice do today against Wolves? Nothing. Passive. But no, 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 no. He's a hundred million pound signing. We have to protect him. But Pate is a scapegoat. Soliba that almost cost us a goal. We're going to protect him because he's Soliba. Right? So one roof for Soliba and Rice, another roof for Pate interesting very very interesting i am just tired of this party agenda anytime you, you guys are looking for a scapegoat it's like we want today as our fans should be happy but no we are going to find a way to trigger the naive fans we are going to find a way to look for a scapegoat because if there's no scapegoat how do we make money on engagement on twitter how do we make money on engagement AFTV. how do we make money how do we ruffle the feathers hmm? how do we do that it is crazy he was not the worst player on the pitch 
he wasn't making mistakes that was leading to goals, but somehow Pate is the is, is, is what we are talking about on Twitter, like trending that we need to be replaced, is finished. I remember before the last friendly match, I think it gave the accusing and uh and Leon. Oh, they are shouting it's finished then. When we saw him against Leon, I never accusing, oh, he's back. Like, what, what is wrong with that? Why 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 is flip flopping? I know football is an emotional game. I get that you can change your opinion based on new information, but it's not based on new information. Most of you just enjoy the dysfunctionality of the up and downs. You enjoy triggering and you enjoy putting out false agendas against certain players. All the guys made since a mistake today in, in, in the game. I, lo I love my players. I now understand that sometimes, no matter how good a player is, he cannot be flawless throughout the, the 90 minutes on the pitch. It's, it's impossible. Even Messi was not flawless throughout the 90 minutes of the game. So we are going to be microscopic looking for Pate's mistakes. But likes of Odegaard, Saliba, Rice, they can be forgiven. But Pate can't be. Man, let's stop it. This is, this is crazy. This is lunacy of another kind of level. It's lunacy. Please stop it. Leave Pate alone. I'm not saying we shouldn't plan for life after Pate. But he still has a lot to play this season. He's not going anywhere. You can push your agenda. You are not the manager. Ateta rates him. The managers and the coaches rate him. All this is your nonsense on the internet. I'm responding to this. I'm just doing this video because there are a silent majority of fans who do not share this unhealthy sentiment, but they are just quiet. But the rascals in the fan base, the bats in the fan base, the lunatics in the fan base, always the loudest. The lunatics in the fan base always the loudest. The Turkish and co, the Yad and co, always looking for how to, to find dysfunction when there's no dysfunction. There is no utopia where every player will give you a scintillating 100% performance. Like, rules are not a pop thing. They gave us a decent run for our money. They were physical, they were aggressive, they provided the right complete. This is the EPL. They're good players. They pressed us well. They were aggressive and necessary. They had a spell that they managed for almost 10 minutes. So it doesn't mean that's not a bad thing. It just shows that the EPL is tough. But somehow, ah, party is getting on. Oh, party is finished. Oh, let's replace him. Oh, Moreno has to come in imminently. Like Moreno will be the Messiah, the savior. But if Moreno makes the same mistake that party makes, you'll be benevolent enough to forgive him. But it's party, oh, you're going to beam the, the light on the oh, party, look at party. Man, let's stop it. Stop it and stop it. Pate is part of our team. He's a good player. He's getting on. I admit he's getting on. But right now, he's still a useful member of the starting eleven and of the squad. And when we bring, bring in Moreno, then we can provide the right competition. Even though with Moreno, Pate will still play certain games with Moreno. It is what it is. Stop this stupid agenda. He will still play. We won the game. You can't have 100% flawless game. It, it doesn't happen. So, guys, on your way out, be kind enough to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and make sure you turn on your notification bell one more time. Like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Let me know what you think about the, the party agenda that is being pushed. Are you for it or against it? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. See you guys later.